morning and welcome to our very first e-cruising and celebrity cruises session. My name is Emily and one of your e-cruising hosts for today. We are so honored to see the interest we had from our registrations and so excited to share the most up-to-date information with you from Celebrity, as well as be able to share a little bit about us. Um, whilst we would love to, of course, be able to share this with you all in person, this ever-changing climate, we're looking at new ways in which we can engage with you, our wonderful clients, and keep you informed by other channels. We are absolutely delighted to be joined by Tiffany Rudd, one of our senior cruise consultants at eCruising Travel, and Jessica Jones, Strategic Sales Manager for New South Wales and ACT for Celebrity Cruises for the latest celebrity update. Uh, welcome ladies, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So uh, a little bit about us here at eCruising Travel, for those of you who may not have uh, booked with us before, our company began in the year 2000 by CEO and founder Brett Dudley, who pioneered the way you purchased a cruise holiday online. Brett tells a story to many that he meets that a lot of people were originally quite skeptical about his business venture, and he was told that no one would want to book a cruise holiday online. Here we are, 21 years later and stronger than ever. We are a team of cruise specialists with over 120 years of combined travel experience. We have a dedicated team who are all incredibly well traveled around the world and a group of avid cruisers giving personal experience to your inquiries. We have agreements with most major cruise lines, several airlines, ground operators and hotels around the world and offer seamless travel experiences, cruise only or packaged holidays anywhere in the world. Our team are currently working full time um, and the typical inquiry turnaround time is within 24 hours from Monday to Friday. So you, are no, you know you're well looked after. Not only do our loyal cruise line memberships apply to all your bookings, but just one booking with eCruising Travel will get you free membership to our Posh Club loyalty program, which gives you access to additional perks, events and more. For further information on this, you can chat to our web chat to our consultants or jump on our website. We want to feel you to feel confident when dealing with a travel agent. And rest assured, you're in good hands when booking with eCruising Travel. I'd like to now hand you over to our celebrity guru, Jess. About myself first. So um, I have been with the celebrity brand for 11 years now. And um, fun fact, I actually started my career at eCruising. So I know the company well and um, can certainly agree with everything Emily said there about a fantastic company to, to book through. So as you can see, um, Celebrity Cruises is a very well awarded cruise line, um, 178 awards and counting in 2019 and 2020. And I'm just going to start off by giving you a bit of an introduction into the brand before we jump into what's new with Celebrity Beyond. So the celebrity story starts way back in 1960, uh, where we were once called the Chandras Line. However, in 1990, we changed our name to Celebrity Cruises, and that's when everything sort of began for us. So in 97, we merged with the Royal Caribbean brand, and we are a part of what is today the Royal Caribbean Group. And then in 2000, we started building our own ships um, with the Millennium Series, we changed the game when it came to cruising in 2008 with our beautiful Solstice series, where we brought in a lot of um, modern style of cruising to our ships, a lot of glass, a lot of, you know, white, clean lines throughout the ship. And then we also delved into the Galapagos in 2016. But things really sped ahead in 2018 with the Edge series. And what I talked to you about today with Celebrity Beyond um, will form a part of what the Edge series is all about. So 2018, we began with Celebrity Edge and we introduced the Apex just last year. So we're currently at 14 ships uh, with four different styles of ships offering new luxury experiences across our staterooms. So we do have our inside through to retreat, including our beautiful aqua class product. And as you can see, um, we're counting 30 years at the moment um, as a celebrity brand. So late last year, we went through a bit of a brand transformation. So of course, 2020, very interesting year for all of us. And uh, instead of just focusing on return to service, we decided to take a look at the brand, see where it was positioned in the market and change the way we sort of talk about the brand and you know, set ourselves up for the future. So we came up with this concept of a new kind of luxury. So new luxury uh, is a simplified approach to travel that emphasizes culinary exploration, 
holistic wellness and cultural discovery to allow travellers to become more open, more curious and more fulfilled. And we found, we believe that you can find that only available at Celebrity Cruises. So really we're carving out that new little niche of where we sit, really moving the brand out of a premium product into that luxury space. And a key part of that was our always included pricing model. So you're probably wondering why we moved to this pricing model and really that that relook at the brand and moving it into new luxury was a key part of that. So with always included, you do receive your drinks, Wi-Fi and service charges included on all fares. However, we do have two tiers that you can upgrade to should you wish. But of course, on that always included, you do receive your classic drinks package, which includes, of course, all your favourite beer, wine, spirits, but also those bottled waters, barista made coffees, fresh juices, mocktails. So there's quite a wide variety of non-alcoholic beverages included. And then of course you're getting your surfing internet so you can stay in touch while at sea and those service charges are taken care of. But if you're the type of person that would like to have, you know, faster internet, more premium drinks or an onboard credit, those elevate and indulge tiers allow you to have that at an additional cost. And of course, if that's something that you're interested in, the consultants at eCruising can certainly assist you with that. So moving along to the next slide, uh, we've got a bit of information about the retreat. So the retreat is our suite product on board. Now, if you do book into the retreat, you get that indulge package automatically. So the retreat on the Edge series is a set area of the ship where we've got our sun deck, our restaurant and our lounge all in one area. So of course you do get all those great inclusions. We also give you your personal retreat host, which is like a butler service. And of course, we've got some amazing suites within the retreat. So I'm not going to touch on those little those suites at the moment, but you will see a number of them throughout the Beyond presentation as to what they look like on that ship. So moving along to the next slide, this is what you're all here for, and that is our beautiful Celebrity Beyond. So a couple of weeks ago, we did a massive launch, and uh, she is the third in the Edge series. So of course, we do have the Edge and the Apex. And once we get to the, the third in the series, we can make some significant tweaks to the look and the feel of the ship. So on the next slide, you'll see how we made Extraordinary even better. So of course, Edge, an incredible ship. If you had the opportunity to cruise on her, you'll certainly agree. It's one of the most amazing ships out there at the moment. So what we did was added, added a 20 meter stretch to the ship, so made it longer. We also made it slightly taller as well. So it became a sleeker profile. But we didn't just add a stretch to the ship and just fill it with staterooms. What we did was, we actually added the stretch within the areas that we really required it to be. So those that particular area was the midship and also the resort deck area. So the most used areas of the ship. So in total, she's 17 decks high now. We've got 140,000 gross tons for those of you that like your facts and figures, and she'll take 3,260 guests. So 350 more than the celebrity apex. So slightly larger. So moving along to the next slide, you'll see um, a bit about our design team. So when we build the edge, we decided to enlist a, a range of designers from outside of the cruise industry. So not just enlisting a cruise uh, design firm. So on the left there, we've got Kelly Hoppen. Uh, she did all of our interiors and um, staterooms. We've got Tom Wright, who is an architect and he did a lot of our public areas. We've got Daniel Balud, who previously was um, doing all of our menus for the Luminae restaurant, so he is a celebrity chef, but he has had an upgraded role in the Celebrity Beyond reveal, and he has actually designed his own restaurant. We've got Nate Burkus, who essentially was our design ambassador with the Celebrity Edge, and he's now redesigned the Sunset Bar, and I'll show you a bit about that shortly. And then we've got the partnership of Joanne Mancou, who um, redesigned the Grand Plaza and it's their first time working on cruise ships and also designed the Le Voyage restaurant. So moving along to the next slide, we'll check out some of the accommodations and design on the ship. So really we wanted to blur the boundaries between inside and outside living space. And that's where Kelly Hoppen came into a key role there. So she had an expanded role doing more areas than just the staterooms. And she also redefined the retreat and created a new suite category. So just wanted to touch on a few of those beautiful suites in our retreat. We've got the stunning iconic suite here. 
So the iconic suite basically spans the width, half the width of the ship and has a view that actually rivals the captain's view. So there's only two of these and these are our largest suites at a whopping two and a half thousand square foot. So our next slide shows the beautiful edge villa. This is my personal favorite. If I could put myself into the retreat, I would certainly book one of these. Uh, they do have their own private plunge pool. They sleep four and we've got six of these on the ship. So absolutely stunning right on the edge of the ship and the edge celebrity edge was the first to have these. So these are exclusive to the edge series. Moving along, we have the Royal suite. So for those that can't quite afford the edge villa or the iconic suite, this is certainly a great compromise. Uh, we've got six of these. So we've added two, two more onto this ship than we do have on the edge and the apex and just absolutely stunning, especially with that interior design. It's very, very 21 and uh, lots of beige and talk colors as well, which are very in right now. And really exciting, we do have a new class of stateroom. So we have our Aqua Class Sky Suite. So for those that have been cruising with Celebrity for quite some time, you'd be quite familiar with the Aqua Class product. And that Aqua Class product is usually a veranda, but we did have a high demand from our retreat guests that wanted to have the Aqua Class benefits, but in a suite experience. So that's where we've designed this, the Aqua Class Sky Suite. Now people booking into the same benefits that the retreat guests and the Aqua Class guests get. So they'll get access to a spa concierge, unlimited access to the sea thermal suite. So that's got your Turkish hammam, salt room, float room, heated stone bed. So beautiful area of the ship that you can use unlimited. Complimentary fitness classes, a preferred spa treatment pricing. And then of course, when it comes to clean cuisine, uh, they've got the options to, to dine in the blue restaurant. They can dine in room with those options. But of course, if they don't feel like, like having clean cuisine, they can certainly go to the retreat and enjoy the meals at Lumine. So that's really exciting that we've got that new class of suite. Moving along to one of our infinite verandas, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about these because when we designed the edge, it was the first large ship to have a concept like this. We have these beautiful verandas where we roll down the glass and you can allow fresh air to come in at any hour of the day. So these verandas go right to the edge of the ship. They're actually not affixed to the outside of the ship like a traditional balcony. And you can enjoy them in all kind of weather. I personally like to have my window down for most of the time that I was actually in the stateroom and just enjoy that breeze coming through. Of course, you can section them off with the bifold doors there if you wish. Um, but they do make the, having that design, it means that the staterooms are 23% larger and you certainly do feel it. They are the most spacious verandas I've ever stayed in. So moving along to the next slide, a little bit of information about the retreat. So we have added a new deck to the retreat. So this is that sweet exclusive area. It is a resort within a resort. And we of course um, have, you know, changed the look and feel of it as well, which you'll see over the next couple of slides. So here is an aerial view of the retreat sun deck. It's actually 40% larger, which is really exciting. But of course, you know, we have added more suites, so we did need to make it larger. You've got a back view there of the beautiful pool and of course the outdoor seating. And then on the next slide, we've got the Lumine restaurant. So the Lumine restaurant has been moved slightly and that is the main dining room for the retreat guests. It is open breakfast, lunch and dinner. And most of the seating do, do have, you know, ocean views as well, which is nice. And then of course our retreat lounge. So we have made this larger, we've made it all indoors um, due, to, due to feedback that people wanted to sit indoors with the lounge because the sun deck's got plenty of outdoor area. And of course, all of those areas are included in the retreat, which is just fantastic. So you can basically just stay in the retreat or if you wish, you can actually go and explore the large ship that you're on. So moving along to the next slide, we've got a short little video of those interior areas. So I could certainly see myself sitting in the retreat there on a cruise, perhaps in the Mediterranean or the Caribbean would be fantastic. So as we move over to the next couple of slides, we've got some information about the open deck. So of course, we've got Kelly, Tom and Nate, which mainly worked on these open deck areas. 
So moving along, you'll see some of the fabulous areas we've got. So we've got our resort deck. So resort deck is where we have our pool. We've got our oversized art sculpture. So for those familiar with the edge and the apex, that's where we have the butterfly wings or the two hands. On the beyond, we actually have this fantastic elephant. Uh, you'll see at the back there, we had the martini shaped jacuzzis. We've got our beautiful cabanas. So we've added two extra of those. Of course, you do pay a little bit extra for those. Now, one of my favorite areas of the ship is the rooftop garden. So Celebrity is always famous for some of our rooftop areas. So the Solstice series has the beautiful lawn club, whereas the beyond has the garden. So we've made some significant changes to this area. We've got two beautiful cantilevered float pools on the side there. We've added a lot more shade some windbreakers as well. So it's a beautiful area to enjoy a film. We've got our rooftop garden grill up there. And then we also do evening um, dancing parties um, with our DJ. And that's a little bit of a close up of those pools. So they are brand new to the edge, absolutely stunning, six and a half feet over the side of the ship. I can certainly see myself enjoying a cocktail, sitting back in one of those pools, that'd be fantastic. So moving along to the next slide, you'll see Nate Berkus. So as I mentioned before, he was our design ambassador, but on the beyond, he's actually redesigned our sunset bar. So we had no idea how popular our sunset bar would be on Celebrity Edge. It really exceeded our expectations. So we decided to make it a lot larger on the beyond. So the sunset bar and beyond has a Moroccan theme it's got a beautiful terrace seating area that extends from the Sunset Bar to the Ocean View Cafe below. And my favourite image is the next image coming up, which is the beautiful bar. So you can certainly, you know, I could see myself sitting there. It makes you feel like you are in Morocco in the middle of the ocean, uh, but a beautiful, beautiful space and it is 180% larger than the Sunset Bar on Celebrity Edge. So really going to be one of our most popular bars. So moving on to the next slide, we have a short video on those open deck areas. So there you have it, that's the open decks. Now, moving along to the next slide, you've got to the partnership there of Joanne Manku, who have redesigned the Grand Plaza. So another area that we really were surprised at how popular it would be. So the idea behind the Grand Plaza originally with the edge was to have a piazza, Italian piazza-like feel and in the middle of the ship. So as we move on to the next slide, you'll see some imagery of what the Grand Plaza will look like on beyond. So we've made it 16% larger and we've moved the martini bar to the center so that people can enjoy it as the main area of the Grand Plaza. So previously it was down one end, it's now in the middle. Uh, so you've got those fantastic uh, flare bartenders that can pour 10 to 15 bar uh, martinis at once. And of course, you've got the upper decks that overlook into the Grand Plaza. So a lot more space, a lot more seating, and it really is the hub of the ship. So it's the place you want to be before or after dinner. Moving along to the next slide, you'll see Daniel Balud, who is our global culinary ambassador. As I mentioned previously, he was mainly doing most of our menus on board, and we decided to give him the opportunity to create his own restaurant on board our ships. So the name of the restaurant is called Le Voyage, and it has been inspired by, by travel. And the idea when you come into Le Voyage is to enter via one door and leave via another. So you'll actually go on a journey with the food and the decor in the restaurant, and we've got these beautiful little private areas in Le Voyage uh, where you can feel like you are having a private dining experience. So it is our fine dining restaurant in, on board. So previously on Edge and Apex, we didn't quite have that fine dining option. We had some fantastic specialty restaurants, but nothing that was that fine dining. So this is the option on Beyond and it is called Le Voyage. So moving along to the next slide. So as you can see there, we have showing you a lot about Celebrity Beyond, but this is just the beginning. We have a lot more to be revealed coming up soon. Actually, in fact, next week, we'll be announcing a lot to do with the health and wellness on board our ships. So if you are interested, of course, you can view that on our YouTube page and we'll go through that um, next 
Thursday. But before I leave you, I'm just going to touch on a little bit about our health and safety protocols. So this was certainly a question that did come through a lot um, in the registrations, and that was around what, what are we actually doing with health and safety? So what we have done is we did put together a panel of experts, the Healthy Sale panel, which you may have heard about previously. So it was a Royal Caribbean group working with the NCLH group. And then we distributed those findings to any cruise line that wished to use them. So from those findings, we came up with some key core areas. So of course, with our Healthy at Sea protocols, these do change every couple of weeks. So this is what they were as of 25 March. But these are the key areas. Of course, there's little tweaks that we are making to them as vaccines roll out, as things in different countries loosen. So first and foremost, all guests on board, the ships that are returning to service will need to be vaccinated. Uh, we do require testing and screening pre-cruise. Cleaning and sanitize sanitization will continue to be happening on board. We have upgraded all of our air filters. So we have HVAC um, system air so that gives you 100% fresh filtered air constantly. There'll be social distancing on board. We'll have 24 seven medical care. And of course there'll be medical care while ashore. So they are sort of the protocols as of where we are today. And these apply to the three ships that are commencing cruising in June and July out of the Caribbean and Europe. But of course this has no bearing on what cruising will look like here in Australia or what it may look like in 12 months. So you know, take it with a grain of salt. We'll continue to update you as things come to light. And a lot of these health and safety protocols are driven by the local region that we're cruising in. So that's all from me. I'm going to hand over to Tiffany, uh, one of the senior consultants at eCruising, to tell you a little bit more about the exclusive packages. Hi, everyone. Thank you for your time this morning. Um, and welcome to those of you who are new to e-cruising. Uh, before I started going through our packages, I did want to let you know when you are looking at our packages, use these as a building block. Um, we pop these together as a suggestion. And by no means is that all that you have to do. So if you're looking at the stopovers, pre or post departures, anything like that, um, that we can either help design something to enhance your holiday, uh, let's face it, going to Europe, three to six weeks is an ideal time over there. Uh, so use these as a suggestion. Um, we're all experienced agents in here, a lot of knowledge. So, uh, you know, take advantage of that knowledge. Um, and then also jump onto the celebrity uh, website as well. Uh, they do have a lot of information about the shore excursions. So you can look up each of these destinations see what excursions are actually being offered. And then that way you'll know, one, if you're picking the correct cruise for you, and two, how to plan it out. So uh, you will see from all these contrasting areas, there is going to be a big difference in what you can do. So lazy beach days compared to a lot of touring. So you wanna make the most of it. When our first one, um, a, just a classic cruise, yeah, um, yeah, starting in Rome, which is just one of the most amazing cities, allow plenty of time in Rome. Uh, this one is also in August. So this is still technically high season. So ensure that if you're planning on visiting places like the Sistine Chapel, uh, for example, then, you know, book in a front of line tour because otherwise you just won't get in. Uh, simple as that. Um, a really walkable, lovely city. For those of you who have not ever been to Rome, it is lovely. There are ruins everywhere. You just sort of, you're stumbling across little gems all over the place. Um, one of the big things too though, is just be aware of pickpockets. Um, so with both uh, Italy and with Spain, they are like a little bit Abbott on the pickpockets over there. So, uh, you know, returning to travel, we're all a bit about of sorts, we need to like keep moving a little bit. So um, with the Greek islands there, you probably pick this because you want to get to the Greek islands. There's not a lot really I can say about that that you don't know already. Um, look, it's just lovely. You've got your Santorini in there, which is a classic. Um, Rhodes, of course, which is sort of like all about your ruins again. And, um, you know, continuing back up into Italy. Um, yeah, a little bit of food here and there. So, you yeah, know, make sure you're in a, a good health space before you go. And at the, <laughs> at the end of it, um, you know, I would be strongly suggesting, like, if you've not been to Italy before, gosh, spend all your time there. You know, get over to Puglia. You know, if you love your food, you're just going to love 
of that region. Um, so, but, yeah, so much to do. From there, um, but we're going to then look at the uh, next beyond offering that we have, which is Rome to Barcelona. Uh, again, you know, our hotels that we tend to use in the cities are always centrally located. Uh, we want you to have access to absolutely everything. Um, this is a really cool one because you're going Italy, France, Italy, and then in Spain again. So you're getting a really good combination here. Um, the first stop, which is um, Ajecchio, um, it's not that full on French feel about it. Um, Napoleon Bonaparte was born there, so you're going to go, oh, well, he was French. But it's a small village. Um, you know, you've got like all your Corsican honey there, you've got nougat, you've got wine, you've got cigars. Um, from there, you're going back into Italy. Um, so whilst you're in Portofino, you know, you're going to have to choose from going to see David at the Afusi or, you know, the beautiful Cinque Terre. So, you know, such good options for you choose very wisely and then from there back into the french riviera finally into spain um you know which and i'm just going to speak about valencia because there is nowhere in spain like it um you know if you're going to have a paella this is the place to do it the Ladro factory is there chapel of the holy grail is there um valencia has its own traditions its own food um its own way of dress, so you will not experience anywhere else in Spain like this. On our next one, what we've done very cleverly here is combined everything together. So uh, a lot of what you've seen on the last two offerings, but you also have the letter in Malta on this one. Um, I would strongly suggest to spend your time in Valletta. The old city there is amazing. It is a UNESCO world site. You can just wander around everywhere. Um, it has a Baroque styling, you know, from the 16th century, these little alleyways everywhere. Absolutely amazing. Um, you will see, and this is my personal opinion, um, on the uh, celebrity offering a uh, day trip to Gozo or to the Blue Grotto. Um, spend your time, though, in the city of Valletta. Um, yeah, go back to Gozo another time because it's just fantastic and you'll want to spend a few days there. So, um, and then at the end of this one, because I didn't really talk about Barcelona a lot in the last one, <laughs> one of my favourite cities. Um, this is just oh, like a, a word association. So, you know, Picasso, Dali, Gaudi, uh, Sagrada, La Familia, um, you know, Tapas at a local bodega, the Gothic Quarter, hot chocolate and churros for breakfast, um, you know, hamon, so coming out of your, your, you know, everything, you eat so much ham now, it's just amazing. <laughs> um, and uh, one of the big things is try your Spanish out uh, and don't be surprised if you get a few dirty looks though. Um, unfortunately, the Catalonians there do take offence to uh, Spanish. So, uh, yeah, but, you know, have fun, have fun with it. Like you're not to know the difference between the Spanish and the Catalonian, exactly. are you? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're talking about oh, getting a disease. Yeah, I mean, this is just all food, food, oh, food, food. No. All right, our last one. We had to find something to do at Christmas and New Year's for next year. Um, absolutely love this because you're going to get such a cross section of the Caribbean and Central America if you've not been to these areas. Uh, again, as I was saying at the beginning, you know change our packages around, use them as a base. This one, we actually have you staying in Fort Lauderdale. For me personally, I'd be staying in Miami. Um, I just, I love Miami. It's like, it's retro and it's art deco, um, some fabulous eating areas. Uh, Fort Lauderdale is you know, very safe, very clean. As you can see, I'm a little bit more excitement, <laughs> a little bit more gritty and uh, yeah, <laughs> love being in Miami. Uh, from here, this one has a big combination. So you have Puerto Rico in there, which is going to be your rainforest, your old forts, your rum, your coconut, you know, so a good start to your holiday. Then into the Virgin Islands, um, where you'll get your European influence. So your Danish colonial architecture that you'll find. Also a lot of French settlements. So for, again, for those of you who speak French, yeah, throwing a little bit of French there. Um, this is where you're going to do your duty-free shopping as well. So these um, ports in the Pat Virgin lines. Islands, yeah, <laughs> everything's like tax-free, so just <laughs> shop away. Um, and then Tortola, which is then technically the British Virgin Island, 
if you're looking for a present, rum cake. That is the way to go. People will thank you when you come home. Um, but you're going back into like that nature, you know, sort of like the volcanic mountains there, smaller village feel, coloured houses, you know, you're really loving that. And then the Bahamas are next. Um, so your pirates, your British colony, um, you know, sort of like the tendons walking around with their socks pulled up. Um, you know, you, you're really going to sort of like feel quite special. It's quite a grown up. Uh, destination and from there you know into the Grand Cayman so Georgetown you'll have a good chance to soak up some of the, the black slavery history that is there and um, yeah you, you'll really appreciate that moving then on to Honduras so Rodan um, Central America absolutely fabulous so again we're talking coconut plantains rum um conch soup fresh ceviche i'm so hungry um, <laughs> don't find yourself a small oh, you know, so much all the beautiful beaches the beautiful water uh and then finally finishing off with a couple of mexican destinations so Puerto costa maya and cozumel um so if you're after your mayan culture uh, so the pyramids, the ruins, uh, cenotes. So I know that there's a couple of tours on Celebrity which will take you to the cenotes, which are the uh, freshwater uh, holes that you can actually go and swim in. Um, absolutely amazing. And uh, Cozumel, you know, it's got this beautiful little like turtle sanctuary on it. Uh, your chance for tequila tastings, you know, fresh tortillas, authentic tacos. So you're really getting the full spectrum from grown up to the fun stuff. Yeah. Gosh, you're certainly <laughs> passionate about what you do, aren't you? Oh, that's... Yeah, and you just put on a few kilos, <laughs> so it's okay. Yeah. So pack light, lose a little bit of weight, fire. <laughs> and drink lots of rum. Rum is better for you than water, so okay. Oh, I love it. Um, well, if we'll just touch on and remind you all that those packages um, that we have uh, popped in the presentation there do in, uh, are inclusive of the always included. Included. Uh, so that's your drinks, your Wi-Fi and your service charges with Celebrity Cruises. Uh, but we've included a nice exclusive event offer for you. We wouldn't be here without an offer. Yay! Uh, we love deals. Um, it's a two-week sale for you. It's a bonus $100 onboard spending money for Varand, bookings of Veranda and above uh, for departures in 2022. Um, we have matched that with our exclusive e-cruising fares. So if you are looking for the best deal, we have it here right here for you now. Um, um, we haven't been cruising for over 12 months, so many of you, again, may be holding future cruise credits or um, uh, anything that we can, you know, use towards your next future cruise. So um, they're applicable to most voyages, and our team are more than willing to assist you through the book process here as well. Uh, we have over a 1,000 celebrity voyages on our website to choose from, um, and we know it can get a little overwhelming. So our team is certainly here to uh, to give you a helping hand yep. with all of that as well. Um, we are going to move on to our Q&A. Um, so a few of you have had the opportunity to engage with us on the Facebook page as well and pop through some questions. Um, and and if you've pre-registered your questions as well, um, we did do our best to um, answer those as we let, went along in the presentation. Um, but let's let's see what we've had come through at the moment. We'll pop Jess back on the screen oh. as well if we can. Yeah, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> so of course, that is certainly our goal. We want to have an edge class, um, edge series ship down in Australia. So um, as we build more of these, so there is five, we have signed to build five. Uh, we've got the fourth coming in 2022, I think it is. Uh, so look, as they build more, there's got to be somewhere for them to put them all. We can't have them all in the Caribbean and the Mediterranean. So certainly that is the goal. That is the goal. So that's what we're all working to down here. Cool. Oh, Am I safe on a big ship with so many people? So I'm guessing this is relating to the current world that we're all living in at the moment, and I would say certainly yes. So with a larger ship, there is more space for social distancing, and, of course, when we do recommence cruising, a lot of those cruises will be on reduced capacity. So there will be more space on a larger ship to actually spread out and enjoy the space um, on your own. 
plenty of room in that sunset bar to spread out, I think. <laughs> oh, I, I just have to agree there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, Skippy and I were both sitting here going, yeah. wow. <laughs> yeah, in between the sunset bar. <laughs> it is absolutely Between the sunset disgusting. bar and... Uh, we go, what nightly shows will you have on board beyond? Have you got that far? <laughs> Oh, that's going to probably be in one of our future releases, I'm assuming, because they haven't actually released that information yet. But uh, one thing you will be assured of with celebrities is that we do have some very high-class shows. We actually do create all of our shows ourselves in our production studios in Miami. Uh, so we own the show. So if something doesn't actually work out, which sometimes happens, it's not well received, we actually can go back, tweak it, and have the show appeal to everybody um, after we make our changes. So uh, it's a nice little touch because not all brands own their shows. Some people are locked in for five, six years on a particular show. So it's great that we have our own production studio. But uh, stay, stay tuned. I'm sure that reveal will come over the next sort of six to eight months. As we uh, work our way through our webinar sessions, you know, we can certainly uh, include that in one of our future ones. So uh, stay tuned on that one. Keep it, we'll bring that to you. Um, any other questions? There we go. Certainly. So, of course, you know, most cruise ships are fantastic for people that have mobility issues. So, of course, we have lots of ramps, we've got elevators, um, you know, th there is, of course, wheelchair accessible staterooms as well. So, they're all marked on the deck plan with a little wheelchair symbol um, as an accessible stateroom. So, certainly, there is plenty of options. And, of course, all the restaurants, the theatres, all the key areas, uh, they are able to be accessed with all kind of mobility issues. Oh, amazing. Um, so super exciting. It's so nice to have a little bit of positivity and positive news for the um, for the cruise industry at the moment. So um, thank you so, so much, Jess, for bringing that all through to us. Um, it's been such a pleasure to have you. Um, any further questions, though, if you do have any, please feel free to reach out to your consultants um, and we can obviously get in touch with Jess and, and get those questions answered for you. As we mentioned before, this will be part of a series uh, with celebrities, so please stay tuned for future webinars. I was super excited. Um, if you haven't already, though, please sign up to our weekly newsletter. We keep you up to date with all industry news, hot deals and cruise line promotions. Um, for those that registered via the website, you will receive um, a send out telling the promotion and the products that we that we discussed in today's session um, and our team are ready and waiting for all of your celebrity needs so please contact us on 1300 369 848 or you can email support at ecruising.travel um, ladies thank you so much thank you for joining Thanks, us Jess. today thank you Jess thank you. Um, <laughs> and all those that were behind the scenes of today's session thank you guys so much and we look forward to seeing you all again soon bye for now bye Hi.